Firstly, check that all firmware on every device on your system, including the TV, is completely firmware updated. Go into your TV's menu option and select sound. Then, additional settings. Use the audio format drop-down menu and make sure that the Dolby Digital option is selected. Now enter the HDMI audio format drop-down menu and change it from PCM to Bitstream. Press OK. Your TV will now restart. If you have a Blu-ray player, set-up box or games console, connect them all into the 2015 TV's HDMI ports. Your external devices also need to be set to send out a 5.1 encoded message to the TV. To do this, go into the settings menu on your Blu-ray, setup box or other device, locate the sound options. If your device is compatible, there should be an option to change the digital output from PCM to Bitstream. Select this. Your devices are ready to go. We can now set up a wireless 5.1 solution. Go to the TV menu, select sound option, speaker settings, go to the multi-room link option and click the option at the top and select the desired configuration. For this instance we'll set up a soundbar to work with two surround 360 speakers. Select the multi-room speakers you want to use We can now run a speaker test and select OK. Now go back one step to change the TV sound output from TV speakers to multi-room link. The TV will now configure and be ready to output in wireless 5.1. We can also use the multi-room application to set up a soundbar to work with two multi-room speakers. Open the Samsung multi-room application. Go to your speakers menu and locate the soundbar. Select your TV from the source drop-down menu. Do not select TV Sound Connect. The TV and soundbar will now link. Go back into the speaker menu, locate your soundbar and select the surround option. Press hold and drag the desired speakers surround right. to the surround positions surround left. and hit next. Set your desired volumes and select done. The system will now configure and be ready to output surround 5.1 content completely wirelessly. Mm -hmm.